this peanut butter sheet cake is a riff on the famous Texas sheet cake, but made with peanut butter instead of chocolate. It's submitted by All Recipes member Ernsberger5, who says, it's wonderfully moist with a delicious peanut butter frosting. To start, preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, line a 10 by 15 by one inch jelly roll pan with parchment paper and also spray it with cooking oil. Then, in a large bowl, add two cups of flour, two cups of granulated sugar, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Stir them together and set aside. Now, into a small saucepan, pour one cup of water. and add 3 quarters of a cup of softened butter or margarine. Bring this to a boil over high heat. Remove the saucepan from the heat and stir in half a cup of peanut butter. Then add a quarter cup of vegetable oil. Keep stirring until the peanut butter has melted smoothly into the liquid. Stir this mixture into the dry ingredients. Next, into a small bowl, pour half a cup of buttermilk. Then add two eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whisk them together well. Stir this wet mixture into the batter. Spread the batter into the prepared jelly roll pan. Bake it in the preheated oven for 18 to 26 minutes. Check for doneness by inserting a toothpick near the center to see if it comes out clean. While the cake bakes, let's make the frosting. In a medium saucepan, put two-thirds of a cup of sugar with one-third of a cup of evaporated milk and one tablespoon of butter or margarine and bring to a boil, stirring constantly. Continue stirring while the mixture cooks for two minutes, then remove it from the heat and add a third of a cup of chunky peanut butter. A third of a cup of miniature marshmallows. And half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Stir until the marshmallows are melted and the mixture is smooth. All Recipes member NettyNet99 recommends adding a pinch or two of salt to the frosting at this point to help bring out the peanut butter flavor, especially if you've used unsalted peanut butter. Spoon the frosting over the warm cake and spread it evenly. One great thing about this frosting is it won't melt away on a warm cake. Let the cake cool before slicing and serving. If you like, use fudge sauce to create stripes on the frosting. All Recipes member Shell Bell says, this is just as moist and rich as the original chocolate version. If you have never made a Texas sheet cake, do not be scared by the consistency of the batter. It will bake up correctly. <laughs>